he had slain many in his quest for greatness. Thorgar the Bloodied One relished the thought of more slaughter. Thorgar would become an unstoppable killer with Khorne, the Lord of Battles, as his master. Merciless in battle, and filled with inhuman strength and anger. Now Thorgar was to take the next steps towards glory and immortality. To find the body of Asavar Kul, and take up his mantle as the greatest champion of chaos. This knowledge was held alone by a mage, an elf of Earth One. To find him, Thorgar would need new allies, friends whose eyes and ears saw and heard many things. They dwelt beneath the surface, unknown to any, except the insane. They were the shadowy Chaos Ratmen, the Skaven. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Warhammer Mark of Chaos. You might notice that uh, that intro cinematic, cinematic said we chose corn, but we didn't. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. I can't get it to change. So, you know, I guess that uh, the game predicted wrong. Now, uh, we have access to an armory again and a barracks. So we can get our uh, a new buddy here, an aspiring champion of Nurgle. If we had picked Corn, this would be an aspiring champion of Corn instead. But since it's Nurgle, uh, we will Nurgle it up here and uh, get him. And uh, we might as well get some more Warriors of Nurgle or uh, well, Warriors of Nurgle. These say Knights Undivided, but. Um, Everything basically has the same stats. Ner Warriors Undivided have the same stats uh, once they're upgraded as Warriors of Nurgle. So it's not a super big deal. Uh, we also now can get Warhounds of Chaos, which are like crazy devil dogs. And they are kind of like light cavalry for the, uh, for the Chaos. And... Uh, we already have a Hell Cannon. I don't think we need another Hell Cannon right now. So I think we can hold off on that. As far as upgrades that go, might as well get a little armor. A little, little armor-plated fangs for our dogs. And we'll get this new squad of warriors upgraded. This squad of knights, we didn't have enough money before to get its armor. And uh, we will buy Thorgar a horse because now he's a little pudgy. He doesn't feel like walking around. It's a little too much effort. So now he can ride around in style. Um, as far as items go, this is a pretty sweet helm. So we'll give this to Thorgar. It looks a little bit more impressive than this helm. And uh, we'll give that helm to the wizard. And we have a cool shield here. Which we might as well give to um, this dude over there. Alright. So. Looks like we are all ready to go. Oh, I forgot to put Thorgar on his horse. He's walking around. Um, three great shrines. The Empire proclaimed the area. We got to get him. So we'll put Thorgar on his, on his horse. Uh, we're going to use the Aspiring Champion eventually, or pretty soon, after uh, we uh, open up sort of like community army picking. But for right now, I'm going to use the Sorcerer because he's basically better. And we already have an Aspiring Champion in Thorgar, so we don't really need two. Later on, when you, we can use three heroes, we'll be using him. But right now, there's not really a point. And then we'll take these uh, Warhounds of Chaos because we want to get them... Um, vet it up because we can and uh, then we'll just take some more warriors alright so in this we have a uh, Subadol who's like this herald of the gods who's a different sorcerer than our sorcerer because he's got big horns we got little horns so uh, all of our all of our dudes are painted green now and uh, so we will 
get ready to do this. We should have Are you really here? I have taken enough form to perform the rituals to restore the power of the shrines. You must protect me, Thorgar. There's enough of me on this plane to be wounded. Now, take me to the shrines quickly. That was a that uh AOE we get for um our sorcerer is pretty kicking rad. So we'll get in here. One thing we do now, we do have this ring now, which will turn a random dude into a chaos spawn. And somehow these halberdiers have already killed one of my knights, which pisses me off, but oh well. So we have to guard this little dude as he goes on his little uh, chaos adventures. So we'll do that. I already killed one of my warhounds too. This is not coming off to a great start. So, so now that we are a uh, champion of Nurgle instead of champion of chaos, one of our abilities changed. We have the Scythe of Death. Um, in many ways, we already were a champion of Nurgle, so this is a little bit or a champion of Corn. Um, if we had chosen Corn, basically all of our abilities would have stayed the same. We would have still thrown the axe and such. But uh, now, since we're Nurgle, things are a little bit more exciting. So I like that. Now, um, probably the best unit to chase guys with is the dogs. So, we will use them to hunt down these swordsmen. As you can see, the dogs are pretty, pretty, pretty effective at uh, chasing dudes down. Um, so that's what we're going to basically use them for. We shall destroy them all! If they'll actually choose to do it, maybe they won't. Uh oh, shit. Protect me until I cast the spell. So there's enemies. They killed some of my dogs, which is unfortunate. I want to mostly fight with these chaos warriors because uh, you gotta get those. Uh, Knights, I told you to charge those dudes. So we're getting the Chaos Warriors in here. Getting the Chaos Spawn in here. And, uh... We'll head in here and try and, uh... Flank these dudes. Maybe get some more kills with the dogs, hopefully. There are some more dudes coming over here. We have some huntsmen, which I'll just chase down there. Destroy with joy. So the knight, these dogs should hopefully be able to eat these last couple handgunners. 
Crushing these huntsmen over here. And then we'll get these we'll get these halberdiers. While my chaos spawn shoots lasers at them. As you can see, the uh, the Ring of Change does have a pretty long cooldown. Uh oh, there's knights over here. I don't want them to charge my little chaos puppies. Are you really here? Yes, I know. I have taken Why is he repeating that quote? The rituals to restore the uh, power of the shrines. You must protect me, Thorgar. There's enough of me on this plane to be wounded. Now, take me to the shrines quickly. This feels slightly suspicious that he repeated himself. I'm kind of worried that this game is breaking. Oh well. Oh yeah, and you get um. When he when he finishes the ritual, you get a free chaos spawn. So that's barrels of fun as we shoot use them to shoot lasers at these swordsmen. I'll also steal some souls because my sorcerer he got a little hurt there. And we'll get the uh, little dogs ready to chase down any guys. Now these knights are here. I don't know what they're up to, but I don't like them, so we'll chase them down. You see here we have a warrior priest, some other stuff up on this hill, but uh, chaos warriors are pretty tough dudes, so we should be okay. Over here, we chopped up all those Chaos Knights, or those uh, Empire Knights. And now we'll uh, head over here. I'm kind of worried about this. Uh, kind of worried about this uh, Warrior Priest challenging me. So I hope he doesn't. And I want to just zap him to death with... Uh, my weird spawn. So we'll steal some more souls while we're over here. Top off my chaos warriors. And looks like we're just we're just beating the shit out of this warrior priest. What was that thing? Okay. Eh, looks better. We'll, we'll use that helmet. So now we got to defend this little area up here. Oh, mighty gods! Bless us with your gifts that we might prevail! As you send them to their graves! Little piglets right for the slaughter! So my little ring is charged up again, so I'm going to look for an opportunity to use that. Make some more free... Some more free chaos spawn. And uh, hopefully my dogs can eat these last couple hand gunners. And uh Yeah, get some XP. It is the will of the Dark Lords that brings us victory. Onward for Dang. As you command, chosen one. So looks like we got some we got some troops coming in over here. So we'll hit him with this bad boy first. That's uh as you can see, that is a very effective AoE, and that's why I like using um, using that dude. And then we'll generate another chaos spawn here. And then we'll come in from behind with the dogs. Chomp some of these dudes up while they're fighting the knights. See, 
see if we can eat up these last two swordsmen. Ah, oh, looks like they got zapped. Waste everything! My swords guides me. Little my conquest rides with the every slaughter. moment. The ruin of war covers these lands. So, uh my conquest grows with every moment. We just gotta wait for him to finish this little fifteen second uh Timer there. We do have three word spawn now. So there's gonna be a lot of uh a lot of zapping going on. The en enemies we fight. And the interesting thing is is we do get to keep these after the mission. So by the end of this campaign our entire army tab is just gonna be filled with these guys. Because we're gonna be making them every mission and we're not they're not necessarily gonna die. So So more demons. Uh, Plague bearers, I was talking about before, they're just like the basic, uh, basic infantry, uh, basic sort of demonic infantry, and uh, we're probably going to end up using them quite a bit. They're pretty. They're a little bit better than uh, than chaos wars. They don't have as much armor, but they can hit for two damage, which makes them especially effective against things that have multiple hit points. Dark Lords that brings us victory. We move on. Delight in the Buboas. Spread your and they have three hit points. Uh, which is a lot. Um, Chaos Warriors that do have two. So that's pretty good. But uh, um, three hit points is almost in the in the realm of like monsters and such. Well I guess they are pretty monsters. They are demons after all. So these swordsmen are looking the wrong way. We'll use this uh, a little sweep there. Kill a couple dudes. And then we'll steal some souls. And then we do have some pistoliers back here. But... We'll just fight them off with the... Uh, the Chaos Spawn Brigade there. I think they have slightly longer range. But, uh... Why is this guy stuck? The pathfinding on this game sometime. So, uh, we got Subadaw coming up here. And this is the last little... We shall destroy them all. Little area. Mercy. I kind of want to get level 3 for this dude's uh, troops here. We so I'm just going to charge into... Oh, no, 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 So I'm just going to charge into the teeth of them. With these warriors. And, uh... You can see here, uh, the <laughs> Chaos Spawn did pretty handily. Kind of ridiculously, they have a 100% chance to hit. So, uh, and they do magic damage. So unless a character has magic resistance, they're, they're, they're going to kill like a model basically every time they fire. So. So my dogs are level 2. Which is pretty rad, although my Chaos Warriors still aren't, which is unfortunate. Although, we do have some Halberdiers up here still. So maybe we can rectify that situation. There are going to be some more guys hiding up here, if my memory serves me correct, that we're going to have to face when our dude actually makes it to the uh, little part where he makes his ritual, but that's not quite yet. So 
So for whatever reason, the dogs can't get in there. Looks like some of them are scooting in there now. These guys are almost level 3 though. So they're retreating. We'll let the dogs finish them off. Show no mercy. And then we have some more swordsmen here. I am touched by the fox of the gold. Show no mercy. Which we will engage. And if they survive for more than 10 seconds, we will have a fourth chaos spawn. Which will be pretty cool. So more chaos spawns. Chaos spawns everywhere. We do have an army coming over here. But uh, we will engage them. We'll actually fight them with the knights. The knights finish these guys off. Or do have the dogs finish those guys off? I'll just try and zap this, uh, zap this wizard to death. Um, you can see here that these knights are actually going down pretty fast, even though these demons aren't aren't upgraded because uh, demons do uh, two damage per hit, so a single hit normally is enough to kill one of these knights, whereas you know, normal units only do one damage, and so they have to hit each knight and actually connect twice. The gods command, and I obey. Bless the carnival, So all these potions and scrolls. There is nothing for me here. So many, so many chaos spawn. Let decay consume Destroy the world. These lands. Furies of chaos! The gods favor me! So, this is our last sort of gift. Um, we get Furies, which always, I think, were kind of seen as pretty pathetic in the Empire campaign. But um, in the Chaos campaign, we're going to make really good use of them. And they're going to be, uh, they're going to be really crucial in a lot of strategies. So we got 6,000 gold, and really quick we can just uh, make sure all of our troops are good. Um, we have a bunch more Warhounds now. And so we got some more Chaos Knights, we got some more Warriors. Um, but the big thing we should do uh, is get our Plague Bearers and our Chaos Furies some armor and you can see here we still have we still have all of these weird spawn so now we have four um, and uh, if we go over here you think he'd ride a little whole faster on his horse but it gets us tired yeah. no loot no killing something was here first we found a few of these Things. Looks like they were killed fighting the villagers. That would explain what happened to the last two villagers as well. The Skaven got there first. The what? Skaven. They're rat men. I saw them during the fighting around Kislev. They must have tunnels near here, or a lair perhaps. They prefer to stay hidden, but I guess the fighting has brought them to the surface to scavenge and prey on the weak. Then we'll find them and kill them. There is another way. Perhaps there is something I can offer them to become allies. 
If you can find them. So, so we keep going here. Um, Skaven villages have been attacked. And then we get here to Ratmaster. So there is some Skaven fighting each other, and we are going to get involved. So, um, we need to take seven units with us. Like, if people, like, I can take a bunch of weird spawn <laughs> if people want, but we can just make more in the battle. So, uh, they're not really that useful. Um, but we do have lots of Chaos Warriors, lots of Knights, we have Warhounds, we have Plague Bearers. So, if there's any, you know, unit combinations you'd like me to use, put it in the thread. So, I'll use that next mission. So, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.